Hey everybody, welcome back to this channel. This channel is Dive Guy. My name is Chris and I'm here to help you save money and enjoy our sport of scuba diving at the same time. Now, that being said, um, this is going to be kind of a series of videos that I had a treat, privilege to talk to um, Megan over at Reefbox. And we talked about some things that are going on in the industry with her and what's going on with all, you know, the world and what hopefully is going on with our reefs. So I found out that after going back through the interview, we actually talked for almost two and a half hours. I am so sorry, Megan, you stayed out in the dang heat for 100 degree heat for this. Hit the like, hit the subscribe button. Well, let's get started. I am Megan. I am one of the owners of Reef Box, a subscription box uh, company for scuba divers. Where each month we send out a box full of, of gear and gadgets for scuba divers. A little bit, we like to say a little bit above the water and a little bit below the water. Um, so you'll find some items that you can use, you know, from rash guards and sunscreens to stuff that you can use underwater. Um, recently we sent out buffs, um, which are coming in very handy right now. <laughs> yeah. uh, I just got a picture from a subscriber who used it as he went to the grocery store. <laughs> The buffs and reels and, and other gear for underwater too as well. Um, so my hospital we, my hospital didn't approve that I'm wearing it underneath my other mask. I'm like, come on. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I can do right now with everything going on? Um, I think that was that was good timing on our part. We didn't know. Yeah. But yeah. Um, what are your are what are your plans so far? For like the rest of the summer that we got hopefully this ends by may you guys uh, crossing our fingers it ends by may is kind of right now i have to say we're scrambling a little bit because of our, our you have to think downstream on our vendors a lot of our vendors that we deal with deal with china deal with other areas um like for instance i just got a, a email this week that our box company is finally back up and running so we won't see our actual true boxes for another another couple weeks so this next box going out in a white box again um, because you just got to think downstream. So we've had to punt a little bit. Um, right. Month we had some safety gear coming from Dive First Aid, but they're they have um, they're supporting the, the efforts out in California right now with um, first they res they supply a lot of first responders and clinics and things like that. So so we're having to punt a little bit and come yeah, up I noticed uh, Stream to Sea is changing there around where they're doing hand sanitizers or. I actually wow. have a little bit. I do highly recommend it. I mean, when you start thinking about what we do, we work with a lot of small businesses and those small businesses are the innovators of, of scuba diving. Um, and that's, again, Autumn and Stream to Sea are, are innovators. Um, she looked and saw, saw a problem with sunscreen, developed a, a uh, marine and marine safe sunscreen. And now with you know what has happened here, she has retooled her line and has put out a hand sanitizer. Matter of fact, we got a couple of them here because they're friends of ours. Um, and I am going to do a little plug for him because it's also, again, this is a Marine. Oh yeah. No, that, but my, my charge nurse was like, what do you got in your hand? I'm like something. <laughs> no, you can't have none. <laughs> you know, I just saw an article from them that said, what's the difference between them? And, and when you start looking at the thicker ones, they have microplastics in them and microplastics are an issue where this is not in microplastics. This is in their, their, their gradable bottles too, as well. Right. And I highly recommend because again, small businesses, when you start thinking about this hand sanitizer company, the big one, they sell $500 million worth of hand sanitizer each year. They're going to be fine at the end of this. Right, exactly. The businesses that, that need the help right now, and they need our support, because if we don't have them on the other side, you know, we're going to struggle as an industry, not having the small businesses, having the stream to season, your dive companies, your dive boats, and you know, we're pushing out and highly recommending, hey, now's the time to go in and do an Did online get... class. Right, yeah, that's um, we're, we, uh, signed up for our rescue diver course. You enjoy Patty. It. Yeah. I mean, we signed up and did it through the computer and then, and, uh, that way, whenever everything opens back up, we can run out and do the, what I, I whatever ocean work we got to do. <laughs> so, yep. To the Dan class. Yeah. Diver emergency management. Yep. I highly recommend that one too. Um, and we, we just got our, our new, well, from being damp, we, we, we got our, uh, you're an oxygen provider, so and I'm sure you yeah. are in the hospital, so oh, yeah. oxygen tanks and all that fun stuff. Because we do have a boat here that we go out on, and it's just nice to be safe than sorry. So, right. But as um, I was saying, no, the small businesses are what we're looking looking to help out right now. And yeah, and, I, and like I said earlier, um, we've already we're gonna we our plan is to send our dive gear down to the shop 
in Destin, so that way they got something to do. And then whenever we go down there in May, hopefully, that we're diving and we got our gear there and we can go ahead and go on and dive out. What a great idea to go and get your gear gear serviced right now and, and, and send them a little bit of business, send them something. You know, right, exactly. The owner that's working right now, at least they have a little bit of income coming in. Your gear's all ready to go when we finally get released and ready to go get back in that water. What we were talking about earlier, the best part about it is there's no one out there to mess our beaches up. There's no one out there to stop, you know, <laughs> to, to tear anything up. So hopefully our reefs will start. I've, what I've noticed uh, every year I've gone out to Pinda Camp, it gets wider and wider. Yeah. I'm like, come on now, we got to give it a break. <laughs> All of our carbon footprints are smaller now. We're not driving. Right. <laughs> At our house here, we tend to have during season, which is just the end of season, we have a, an airplane about every five minutes fly over top of our head. We probably have two a day now. Yeah. Uh, so our air is cleaner. The skies are bluer. It's hotter. <laughs> We're getting pretty hot here right now. <laughs> Um, there's definitely some some good benefits i mean they're saying you can see it at mount everest um you can yeah, all the different pictures of the cities now that, that people oh yeah. yeah well even even here i noticed last night whenever the or the other night whenever the moon was out it seemed to be just a whole lot brighter than what yeah. oh, it, cool. <laughs> yeah. it is very cool and, and as you and i were talking before we jumped online about the sea turtles in india and brazil you know, and think about this also is that the sea turtles are also in many other countries. There's no regulation, including the Caribbean, some of the Caribbean islands, and then fishing them and eating them. Right. No one's out there fishing right now. No one's out there eating them right now. You you, you got to figure that, that this is a good cause for our environment. You know, it is inconvenience for all of us, but you know, I think it's in the long run we might have we might have done so, a good a good bit of, of help to our environment so i hope so i hope yeah. so with everything else that we got everything on there i sure hope so we were sure hurting it there for a little bit um yeah. what is your next trip that you're planning to go out if you're allowed to it, well we were supposed to be leaving next sat next sunday for roatan um yeah no. and everyone canceled that i would have to say right now we're punting uh again to this summer we'll figure out something. We do a lot of time in the Keys. And, and so if you see us in the Keys, say hi to us. And usually we have some sort of reef box gift for anyone that comes up and says hi to us. If not, we'll find you like we found you. Yeah. Um, I was like, yay, my shirt. Yay. <laughs> you know, if you don't know, we got off of a dive boat, Horizon Divers. And I guess you ran into some of our, our crew. And so where yeah, I was like, shirt? where did you get that shirt? I've never seen I that know. shirt. <laughs> so there you go. So if you see us, um, also, in this past box, we put out the, I, the little tag that says Reef Box subscriber. If any of our, our street crew or dive crew sees you with it on your stuff, then we'll send you another gift, too. You post up a picture on our Facebook site or Instagram site, um, tag us in anything. We, we, we're we all too quick to send you a gift. Um, and I've put up everywhere, like like the tag that's on my, my gear now, I switched my tag out. And I, so I sent that gentleman an email saying, hey, look, here's this. And these guys are willing to work with anybody. You contact them, they'll, they're willing to work with um, what you need to do. Because yeah. he was like, no, no, that should have never done your tag. I'll get you. I'm like, right now, it's all right. So with everything going on, don't worry about it. But Again, yeah, another small business. Yeah, exactly. Like I keep saying, innovators of our industries is the small businesses. Um, matter of fact, if you pause for a second, I'll show you what I just got in the mail. So I ended it there. Said interview number one said it's going to I'm going to continue on with the series of conversations that we had. Uh, I got to put them all together in a, something that makes sense and, and we can appreciate. Um, another thing is is I also ended it there to kind of tease you because she's got some things coming up that she's working on that is absolutely awesome. I mean, if you are not a subscriber to Reefbox, you need to be. And even if you are not a scuba diver, you might know somebody who is. Subscribe them as a Christmas present, you know? Um, dive shops. If you're paying attention to this, dive shops, you should subscribe to Reefbox. And we talked about that in some of the interviews. Um, but if you would, please hit the like, hit the subscribe button, and I hopefully will see you out on the boat.